Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SCV Sports Show. With your host, Dave Caldwell. We love sports in this valley, and that's what this show is all about, youth sports in Santa Clarita. Baseball season is underway, and of course, down at the William S. Hart Pony Baseball Complex, I believe it's the 53rd year, is that right? The 53rd year that William S. Hart Pony Baseball and Softball has been providing great teams and great baseball and softball experiences for the kids of Santa Clarita. And it continues on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a big Vincenzo's welcome for the Cubs! Everybody, yeah, keep coming down here, Cubs. Keep coming down here, attaboy. And Dan Waitman, their head coach. <laughs> I love it, you're over here trying to coax the kids to cheer for you too, right, Dan? Oh, yeah, <laughs> after three years, you'd think they would cheer for me. Maybe not. <laughs> well, there's playing time on the line, right, guys? We gotta be careful about that. All right, these Cubs, these guys, uh, you know, you were telling me, and I think it's pretty cool, almost, almost all of these players, except for maybe three, I think you said, you had them as Shetland players. These kids are seven and eight years old. Most of the kids on this team are seven years old, so they're first year Pinto players, and this group is nine and three. How about a round of applause for this group? You know, having been, having coached down there myself, that's very impressive to have seven-year-olds, mostly seven-year-olds, nine and three, and the fact that you took them from T-ball. Yeah, um, that was one of the things I decided when I was going to take a team that I wanted to keep my, uh, my T-ball team. We had such a great time. We have a bunch of great group of parents that we really like being, uh, being together with each other. And now that we have uh, three new players on the team, it's just added to the uh, satisfaction of coaching. Yeah. And you got a 9-3 and three record going on, and, and this season is, is working well for the guys, huh? Yeah, you know, I told my parents, you know, not to expect much because, you know, we were going to be young, and I didn't draft based on ability. I drafted on who I wanted to have on the team, and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. 9-3, and three, the kids work hard. They try real hard, and, um, um, you know, there's a lot of talent. Even though they're seven, there's a lot of guys that can play some baseball out there. Well, we're going to, speaking of talent, we're going to start with this guy. Step up here. All you guys kind of move your line down here. I'm going to do this so mom can see those good-looking eyes because it's a good-looking face that your mom made, right? Yeah. Because you're a good-looking guy. Yep. Yep. Where do you get your good looks from, your mom or your dad? My mom. Your mom. Does that mean your dad's not very good-looking? Kind of. Ah, kind of. All right. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, what position do you like to play on this Cubs team? I like to play catcher. Catcher for Tyler. Yeah, um, Tyler is uh, one of the guys that came up with me. Tyler plays catcher and outfield for us. Um, he's uh, doing a, a lot better job hitting this year, and um, he really enjoys catcher. After he's tucked a couple off the, the thigh and stuff, he's getting used to it, and he's learning how to stay down and, in his crotch and uh, in, uh, in catcher, and he's doing a good job for us this year. Man, you, you sometimes you take some foul balls and you take it off the thigh, huh? Yeah. Th does it hurt? Mm, no. You're getting tough about it, right? Yeah. And you, you like to catch, from what I understand, because girls like catchers. Is that right, Tyler? Mm, yeah. Yeah, so it's important for you because you like girls now, right? Mm, no. No, you don't like girls. I thought I heard that you had a couple of girlfriends. Is that not right? No. Do you, have you ever had girlfriends yet, Tyler? No. Why not? I don't know. What's wrong with girls? Is there anything wrong with girls? No. You like girls? Just not that. You're not, I like it. Tyler's not going to say anything right now to get him in trouble. Let's hear it for Tyler. Everybody keep coming on up. Keep coming on up. What's your name? Drew. And what position do you play, Drew? Pitcher. A pitcher. He's one of the bigger guys. I can see that. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is uh, Drew's first year at Pinot, too. He played with us last year. Um, really excels at pitching. He uh, never did it before, but um, we got him out there. He throws hard. Um, he also does a lot of other things on the field for us, and he bats leadoff for us. So uh, he does a good job for us. 
Pitching, what made you decide, Drew, that you were a pitcher? Well, um, it was last year in uh, winter, in the winter league, and um, I struck out two people, which kind of made me feel a little bit good about pitching. Um, that's kind of like what, what, how I like it. Well, that's impressive you were able to strike out a couple of guys, so that means you're a really good pitcher, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me, Drew, what is the one thing that pitchers need to do the most? What, what makes a really good pitcher, Drew? Um, like trying your best and just throwing it down the middle. And letting him swing at it, huh? All right, let's hear it for Drew! <laughs> it's a great answer. Yes, got to see those eyes. What's your name? Brad. Brad. Is that right? Yes. Brett. Brett. In what position do you play, Brett? Right field. All right. Tell me about Brett. Well, this is probably my fourth season coaching Brett. I coached him in flag football all three years of, of his t-ball, and um, he, he does a really good job. He likes, he's a good left-handed bat. He likes the low ball. He, he might be a golfer. He's hit a couple off, bounced off the ground first and hit it. But uh, he does a really good job, tries really hard, and uh, I'm just lucky to have him on our team this year. So, Brett, you've had Coach Dan here for four different seasons, right? Yeah. In football and now baseball again, right? Yeah. Are you getting tired of that? Do you want another coach? No. No. You like this guy, huh? Yeah. Can you explain to me what makes him a good coach? Um, he's just really good. He's just really good? Because he likes you, right? Yeah. And you're a likable guy? Yeah. <laughs> and you get to play with him, right? Kind of. Yeah, all right. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for Brett. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You're up here. What's your name? Joey. What position do you play, Joey? Pitcher. Pitcher. Yeah, Joey is uh, he's one of the, he's our only eight-year-old, so we look to him for leadership, and he comes in, and he's our closer. He comes in and, 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 and nails the victory shut for us, and uh, he does a good job hitting. He also plays a little third and short, and uh, we're lucky to have him on the team. Joey, right? Mm -hmm. Joey, what did you think when you got drafted on this team and you looked down and you're going, holy cow, it's all a bunch of seven-year-olds? Well, not really, because a uh, couple of the guys came up to me, and, or I came up to them, and I asked them, uh, do you want to hang out like sometime, and, the, and yeah, so they became my friends. So, so even though they're a year younger than you are, they're still cool guys? Yeah. It's not like they're seven-year-olds and pff, forget about them, huh? No. That's good attitude that you've got. I like it. Let's hear it for Joey. <laughs> Look at this face. This guy has been smiling since last Tuesday, I think, right? No. You just like to smile, don't you? No. You're just a happy guy, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Because you're a good looking guy, because you've got these dimples when you smile, and you're a good looking guy, right? Yes. And the girls love dimples, don't they? Not really. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, they do, but I know you'll get there. What's your name? Jared. Jared, what position do you like to play? Pitcher. Another pitcher. You're loaded with pitchers, I got a feeling. Yeah, um, actually, Jared is one of the reasons why I'm coaching. He's my nephew, and he came to me in uh, January and said, Uncle Danny, are you going to coach me again after two years? And I wasn't really, but I couldn't say no to that face, so uh, <laughs> he started it up again. Uh, Jared does a really good job pitching for us. He, uh, he comes in and... and uh, even though he's not very big, he sure can throw the ball real well. And he also uh, plays second and a little outfield for us and is our number two hitter. So he's doing a great job this year. Jared, I got a feeling because your Uncle Dan says he could not say no to that good looking face, could he? Yeah. Yeah. So I got a feeling that you just smile and look at your mom and you can get whatever you want because you're so good looking, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you went up to your mom and said, I want a pony, would she give it to you? No, I don't like ponies. Oh, you don't like ponies. What's the one thing, Jared, that you would want more than anything else in the world that you want your mom to give to you? A Range Rover. A Range Rover? Really? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to drive it? Yes. Why do you want a Range Rover? Because I like the cars and other stuff. And so all you have to do, just look in that camera right now and smile big and say, Mom, I want a Range Rover. Mom, I want a Range Rover. I got a feeling you'll get it. Let's hear it for Jared. 
What's your name? Donovan. Donovan, what position do you play? Shortstop. It's Donovan. Um, yeah, Donovan's my son, so he's been playing with me for a while. Donovan does a great job at shortstop. He also pitches for us. Uh, he bats third. Um, he does everything I ask for him. I know I'm kind of a little too hard on him for he's because he's my kid, but uh, he really picks it up and uh, does a good job for the team. You know, when dads are coaches, they're always too hard on their kids, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Does your dad make you co make you practice at home a lot? Yeah. Yeah? Is it too much or is it fun? It's fun. It's fun. Do you get to throw a baseball inside the house with your dad? No. No? Have you ever, Donovan, in your entire life thrown a baseball inside the house with your dad? No. Have you ever done it with a brother or sister? No. Are you sure? Yes. Are you allowed to throw a baseball inside the house? No. Why not? I don't know. Do you think kids should be allowed to throw baseballs inside the house? No. No? Why not? Because they might break something. Do kids usually break things? Yeah. Do you break things, Donovan? Sometimes. Sometimes. All right. Let's hear it for Donovan. <laughs> and now the 13-year-old steps up. What's your name? Ben. Ben? What position do you like? You, you play whatever position you want to play, don't you, Ben? Because you're almost as big as the coach, right? No. Because he respects you so much because he is afraid of you, does, isn't he, Ben? No. Ah. Well, what position do you like to play, Ben? Third base. All right. Third base for Ben. Yeah, uh, Ben uh, is uh, my fourth season coaching Ben. I coach him in Warrior football as well as uh, T-ball and uh, now baseball. Uh, ben also plays a lot of catcher in third base for us. Um, he's got a big stick. He can hit it further than anybody I've seen as a seven-year-old. And uh, he's really anxious and eager to learn, and he's a good player. Wait a minute. You're seven years old? Yeah. Ben, you're big for a seven-year-old, aren't you? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. You're big and imposing. You're scary sometimes to the little guys, aren't you? No. Oh, no. Gentle Ben. I like it. Hey, Coach says you play football too, right? Yeah. What is more fun for you, Ben, football or baseball? Football. Really? Why? I don't know. Do you get to hit people in football? No. No? Sometimes You played warrior football, right? So you get to hit people in warrior football, right? No. No. So you just lay on the ground and let them run all over you? Yeah. All right. Interesting. That's it for Ben. I think some more coaching is in line for Ben to understand some football. Uh, what's your name? Cole. Cole. What position do you play? Uh, center field. Center field for Cole. Tell me about Cole. Um, Cole, this is uh, Cole's uh, second uh, season in baseball with me. And uh, Cole is playing a little second base and, um, and center field for us. He's uh, come up with some big hits. Uh, two games ago, he had the game-winning RBI. And um, he's really improving his hitting and his confidence. He's doing a real good job for us. You had the game-winning RBI a couple of games ago, right? Yeah. What, can you tell me what happened? Did you come up and the winning run was on third base or second base? Or what happened there, Cole? Um, I think I got out. You got out, but the one run came across, right? Yeah. So did that make you feel great that you're, when you hit the ball, that made your team win the game? Yeah. I like it. Let's hear it for Cole. <laughs> Yes, sir. What's your name? Logan. What position do you play, Logan? Third base. Another third baseman. Logan. Yeah. Logan's uh, my first year coaching Logan. I'm so glad that he, I got him this year. Uh, he's made real improvement. He, he plays uh, third base and, uh, and some outfield for us. Uh, he's uh, really coming around on his hitting, and he's understanding what to do with the ball when it's hit to him. So he's made a lot of improvement this year. Sounds like you're enjoying this game, huh, Logan? Is this fun? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, Logan, I'm looking down here, looking at the Cubs, and I'm not seeing any girls on this team, am I, Logan? Mm, nope. Why not? Because girls don't play baseball. Are you sh No, girls can't play baseball? Are, are you they sure? They play softball. Why can't they play baseball? Because it's only for boys. But I know girls who have played baseball. Oh. Hey. Is that wrong? <laughs> no. Can, what about, can boys play softball? No. Why not? Because 
They're not a girl. So you're saying that girls only can play softball? <laughs> yes. And I don't understand why girls can't play baseball. Isn't it pretty much the same thing? Yes. It is. So if you're saying it's the same thing, but boys can only play baseball, why can't girls play baseball? <laughs> because they can only play softball. But it's the same thing, isn't it? Yes. What would you do, Logan, if a girl was on this baseball team right now? Would you think that was OK? <laughs> yes. You would be OK with that, right? Yes. All right, let's hear it for Logan. Uh, I've seen this guy before. Turn around, let's do this. Because mom's got to see those big brown eyes, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Zach. And what position do you like to play, Zach? First base. Yep. Tell me about Zach. Um, well, this is another guy. Zach is our first baseman, and uh, he's pitched a couple innings for us. Um, he's uh, played for me for like three seasons now, and um, he's really doing a great job at first base. He really uh, helps us, our defense out a lot. He bats uh, cleanup for us, and he's doing a great job. He's a ball of energy, never wants to slow down. Zach, three years with Coach Dan here, right? Yeah. Have they been three of the best years of your entire life? Mm, uh, one of them. One of them. So one of the three years you've been with Coach Dan has been great. Yeah. The other two years, not so great. Um, no. So I have to ask then, is this the year or was it a couple of years ago? This year. This is the year. So you've grown as a player, huh? Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, with one being really stinky and ten being the greatest coach in the world, how would you rank Coach Dan? Ten. A ten. What position do you want to play next week? First. Because you're going to get to play whatever you want to do. And let's hear it for him. Now, we are missing one of the Cubs, and Dan wanted to talk a little bit about him. Yeah, uh, we're missing Eric uh, Miller, his first to our team this year again. He's a great kid, um, really uh, tries hard. Um, all the kids love him, and uh, we're really glad to have him on the team this year. One more time, let's hear it for the Cubs! And keep it right where you are, because are the Angels in the house? Yes, they are. So stay tuned to the SCB Sports Show. Santa Clarita Lands is more than just a bowling center. It's fun, food, and parties for the entire family. In addition to our popular leagues that run every day of the week, Santa Clarita Lands offers rooms for kids' birthday parties and game rooms. And if you love Major League Baseball, Vincenzo's Pizza is the place to be for the complete Major League Baseball package. Enjoy every game on his 10 televisions and wide screens. Whether it's bowling, birthdays, or baseball, Santa Clarita Lanes offers the best in family entertainment. Log on now to ProSportsCollector.com for the very best in sports collectibles with an accent on vintage memorabilia. All items are competitively priced and guaranteed. ProSportsCollector.com only sells authentic memorabilia from contracted signings, only through reputable companies and always includes an original certificate of authenticity. ProSportsCollector.com merchandise makes the perfect gift for any occasion, corporate events, and of course, your own personal collection. Choose your favorite today. ProSportsCollector.com. Cozy here. When it comes to heating and air conditioning, indoor air quality, and energy savings, Comfort Control is the pack leader. Schedule our preseason tune-up special today for only $79 to ensure your system's safety and efficiency. We're an authorized dealer for Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems. Bryant is well known for doing whatever it takes to make you cozy and happy. Comfort Control and Bryant understand comfort, both in your home and in your wallet, or my name isn't cozy. I made this for you, Mom. Wow. Milk with the cookies already in it. Wow. Frank looks at the chart and says, it's net, not gross. Wow. Well? Wow. The world's most perfectly cut diamond thrills like no other. Hearts on fire. At Classic Designs in Valencia, how you buy a car today has really changed. People used to kick tires and pick up brochures. Now it all starts on the web. Acura shoppers do their research online and know as much about these cars as we do. 
That's why Valenciaca has a dedicated internet sales department with a great website where you can shop, compare, and even schedule a test drive. It's what we call auto buying comfort. It starts at ValenciaAcura.com. And it ends right here at ValenciaAcura. It's a friendship. As Miss Valencia, I need a great smile. Baywood Dental Group makes that easy. Everyone here is so nice, and it's all high tech, which is pretty cool to know you're on the cutting edge of treatment and comfort. Baywood provides general and cosmetic dentistry for your whole family, and there's a variety of outstanding dentists to choose from. For a limited time, whiten your teeth with the Zoom Whitening System for only $275. That's $175 savings. Call Baywood Dental in Valencia today and smile! Baking what you love makes everyone happy. Visit bakingwhatyoulove.com and discover all the tools and resources to feed your favorite hobby. We offer quality products at competitive prices for the curious beginner to the expert baker. Enter discount code SCVTV at checkout and save an extra 15%. If you love baking cookies with your grandchildren, baking artisan breads, or creatively decorating cakes, bakingwhatyoulove.com can help you. Visit us today. Are you ready for this? Fast go-karts, splashing bumper boats, exciting miniature golf, win some great prizes, try our new rock climbing wall, new arcade and games, our new Farrell's ice cream parlor, and our new laser tag arena. So come to Mount Asia and see what's new. Mention SCV-TV and get a buy one, get one free attraction. 